Discrimination touches us all, whether it be with our colour, our sexual orientation, our ideas, our passions, our gender, and it's something that is only made by human mentality. The Ally Network is specifically designed to help foster a welcoming and supportive environment for those in our community who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex and queer. The network is about making this a place where persons are able to bring their whole personhood to work. It's a visible step towards creating a workplace and an educational environment that is free from stigma, bias and isolation. The work of an ally is not glamorous. At its best, it is there to support the work that queer people are already doing. The work of an ally is at its best when they are using their privilege to remove the little but draining things that can prevent queer people from achieving their goals. I hope this network helps to provide that cultural capital to be able to know that things do change, that your life is not predestined by other people's ideas about sexuality and gender. How long is it from 1967 to now? I can't do the mathematics, but it's more than 50 years. And ultimately, the university has picked up the crinolines and taken a leap. Taken a leap, and we are part of that leap. LGBTIQ and straight. This is the beginning, it is also a continuation of this story. And today, our students and our staff don't have to hide from what they really are. This Ally Network is an important initiative to build upon the university's already considerable achievements so far. It's with great pleasure, as a graduate of this university, to launch the Ally Network. Congratulations and good luck.